Welcome back. It's time for Wine Wednesday. February marks an exciting new adventure in Oregon wine country. Starting today, you can venture out onto the best Oregon bubbles trail. Yeah, from Dundee to the Chehala Mountains, sparkling wine lovers have a lot to sip and savor on this month. And joining us now to tell us more about this bubbly journey is Adam Campbell, the owner and winemaker for Elk Cove and Pike Road Wineries. Good morning. Good morning. Happy to be here. Glad Thanks. you're here. Glad you're us. here. It's a really fun idea. I like this mm -hmm. idea. The best bubbles Oregon trail. Um, or maybe I should be the best Oregon bubbles trail. That's right. The Bob trail. Yeah, that one. Um, <laughs> but describe what this is. Obviously, uh, clearly a focus on, on bubbles, but where does the trail lead? Well, a number of Oregon wineries that uh, really uh, not just focus on Pinot Noir, of course, which uh -huh. is our mainstay, but also really uh, passionate about sparkling wine. So these are uh, traditional uh, champagne methods, but with great Oregon Pinot Noir and Chardonnay and a few other varieties. I think that's what people might be surprised to learn. They think about, you know, champagne as being that sparkling wine, but, but sparkling wine can come from anywhere. You just can't call it champagne unless it's in Champagne, France, right? Yeah, and, and it's this, really the same process. And we love to see our Oregon Pinot Noir kind of transformed and Chardonnay transformed into really a, a, a very different product. And, um, you know, the Bob Trail has been great. These are uh, a number of wineries that all make at least three different sparkling wines, oh, okay. which really allowed us the opportunity to uh, to show it off for uh, for customers. That's mm -hmm. great. I do feel like there's been this uh, kind of boom here in sparkling wines in the area, definitely starting to gain some pretty serious traction. You know, it's obviously a beast compared to those you know, traditional Pinot Noirs that we're used to. But speaking of those spots, uh, where can we, it looks like we got the map up there of where you can uh, pop around and take part in the trail. Uh, yeah. What are those spots? So we got Argyle, what other spots are out there? Tresadum. Yeah, so Trisadum, Argyle, Rocco, mm -hmm. uh, Lytle Barnett, um, and Elk Undine, Cove, Sokol Blosser. So it's really a good yeah. mix of some kind of newer folks, but mm -hmm. also some real pioneers in sparkling wine in Oregon, like Argyle and Rocco. Mm -hmm. And then I know us and Sokol Blosser, we're just, you know, we're one of the original kind of 10 families that started sure. wineries here in Oregon. And uh, we're super happy to be a part of this as well. That's great. Absolutely. Yeah. So, so what you've got a special bubbles flight for this at Elk Cove. So what are you pouring? Yeah, so we're pouring um, our 2018. Uh, we have a Blanc de Blanc, which is 100% Chardonnay, mm -hmm. as well as a Brut Rosé, which is 100% Pinot Noir from our La Boheme Vineyard. And then we also do kind of a, a Brut style from our Mount Richmond Vineyard, which is Chardonnay and Pinot Noir. And uh, in addition to those three sparkling wines for the flight, we're also going to dig back in our wine library and pull out an older Pinot Noir to show off to people. Oh, that's oh fun. fun. Yeah. Okay. So give us a little insider's guide to sparkling wine, because there's some terms here that I think can be sometimes a little confusing for people. When you look at sparkling wines, is there's there's brute, there's dry, there's extra dry, right? <laughs> like, how, how can you know what you're getting in a bottle? Yeah, I think one of the main things is, you know, looking for uh, something, if it's if it's labeled as... as uh, method champenoise or traditional method uh, sparkling wine, you know it's really made in the exact same style as they make it in, in Champagne. Mm. Um, and you know, Brut and those designations are, are a reference to how, uh, how sweet the wine is. Uh, but in general, you know, if they look for Brut or Brut style, those are you know, what people think of as traditional drier style, mm -hmm. uh, fresh Champagne. That's really yeah. cool. Well, and it's neat that when you go on this this trail that you have the chance to try all those different kinds of styles and, you know, maybe learn as you go because that's uh, that's what these things are all about, really. You can really taste and not only just say, oh, this is really good, which is what I do, uh, but you uh, get to learn about how it's made as well, which is really neat. Yeah, and all these, uh, you know, flights, in addition to the great wines, there's also food pairings. I know we're teamed up with Hannah's Popcorn, which if you haven't tried that, Oh, oh have we tried it? Okay. <laughs> Yeah. We, we I think, uh, probably kept Miss Hannah's in business to, uh, to get him off the ground to start. Yeah, we are, we are aficionados for sure. Yeah, and I know all the other wineries are also doing some food pairings. So uh, we just really want to encourage um, in our local um, consumers to be able to come out to wine country when it's a little less busy. Mm -hmm. Summers can be quite busy, but uh, in February we'll all have time to really dig into the wines and, and to tell people about it. And so, uh, yeah, we really encourage people to come out in February to... It Best sounds Oregon like a lot of Yeah, it does. Yeah, so I'm curious, with, with popcorn or with other food pairings, what types of pairings do you look for for sparkling wines? I think things that are, you know, that show, um, you know, that highlight the refreshing aspect of, mm. of sparkling wine. Yeah. Um, you know, I think this popcorn pairing is going to be really fun. Some of the other ones are, you know, um, any um, appetizers, like uh, uh, I know another winery is doing smoked trout with Ooh, creme fraiche okay. on, wow. on uh, little 
baguettes, and I think that would be a really great pairing. Well, those bubbles can well. kind of kind of cut through some of the, the heavier foods, right, or kind of lend that balance to something with that, that fattier mouthfeel. Yeah, and, you know, people yeah. often think of sparkling wine as just for the beginning of the, right, of the meal or for the welcome, but I think it can be more than that. Mm -hmm. Lots of different it. foods can, can really pair nicely. I think that's all, all great. All kinds of discoveries and courses await you. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Going to be a lot of fun out there in the Dundee Hills. A good, uh, it was like a nice, nice circle there all through Dundee up into Carlton, Gas, and all the way back down through Newburgh. Looks it's like a, a good road trip to me. Absolutely. Adam, great to have you in here. Thanks for joining us. Happy to be here. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. And again, to learn more about participating uh, in the uh, Bob Trail, as we're calling it, the Best Oregon Bubbles Trail, you can go to bobtraileoregon.com. All kinds of fun. All right.